Hello and welcome everyone back to Altengrad city. We built the waterfront in the last episode, built a couple of blocks next to the train station and today we will move back to the castle hill where we left an area completely empty so let's go build something there too. What we also need to figure out in today's episode is the hill itself because uh, if you remember from episode 1 this map was pretty much flat in this area so I had to create some sort of an elevation, terrain elevation where I could put the, the castle and all those buildings on the castle hill together with it. But on this part of the city it's uh, still not done so I will have to do something about that as well. Now the hill is not exactly all that short, it's, it's quite tall so we will have to do some road that's going to go, like, it's going to like twist uh, to, towards the up, uh, upper part of the hill. It uh, cannot go straight up because it would be way too steep. There is also one other road that uh, is going uh, towards, the, towards the base of the hill and it's the road that goes from the old town square to the old bridge. I built this road there already, I think uh, right when I built the bridge I already built that road from the old town square and that's probably a very very old connection, probably as old as the bridge, maybe even older, maybe it just went from the square area to towards the river. And uh, that road is uh, is just uh, like a main road through this entire district. I obviously used the the old cobblestone, the, this brownish cobblestone, even though this is not the road that I'm talking about. Uh, by the way, I should probably clarify that uh, in the first few minutes of this time lapse, I'm going to be just building some blocks, and it might be a bit confusing where exactly I'm building it because I don't really show all the processes that I did uh, for today's episode with building all these all these blocks because it's just you know more of the same so I'm pretty much uh, skipping through that and only showing you uh, or focusing more on the important parts and the important parts that's exactly this so uh, let's start with the road so this is the road that uh, is very important and it just twists all this way and goes towards uh, towards the upper portion of the castle hill right from the bottom here which is pretty much uh, right where the old bridge is right so this might also be some very very historical road some old road maybe like a king's road towards the castle or something like that and on top of the hill where the road just reaches the top of the hill I decided to build another church you guys suggested this uh, for the comments or in the comments for the for the previous video that I should do another church somewhere in this in this empty area I was not exactly sure about that but I decided to give it a go and I picked this church. Now this is a church from, from Dresden, again, and uh, there is this one specific uh, thing connected to this church and that's the fact that it got completely destroyed. Well, not really completely, just a couple of walls remained after the Second World War, but uh, it was mostly, mostly destroyed. And just recently, very recently, it was rebuilt to its original glory, right? So the model that we have in the game, even the textures, are are you know from this uh, from this uh, very recent uh, rework of the church. So some of the some of the walls of that church are black. Uh, I'm not sure if it's if it's like the result of the fire that uh, destroyed the 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 church, or it's just uh, like some you know normal coloration of the stone because it's old. But uh, most of the structure is just very bright because it's new. The stone is completely new, right? So in this game, obviously, we are still in the 1920s. I don't really plan on destroying this church during the Second World War because I don't really have, you know, like a model for some destroyed uh, part of the church. It's just not possible, right? I would just need to delete it from that place uh, and just leave it completely empty. I don't really want to do that. But we still have those textures where some of the stones are obviously original and some of them are new. So we need to justify that somehow. And I think it's not all that difficult to do that because the church uh, in Altengrad might have been destroyed, uh, I don't know, in some war towards the end of the 19th century or sorry, yeah, 19th century or maybe it just caught on fire or something and they are just in the process of cleaning, cleaning it up or, you know, something like that, right? Uh, it's just uh, some way to, to justify the different colors on it because, like I said, the model that we have or the textures that we have on that model are from the recent rework from real life, okay? So that's just a little note about the church. Now, the church, by the way, is 
the tallest building in the city right now. It's a very, very noticeable landmark right now in the in the entire Altengrad skyline even. So it's going to be very, very nice, uh, nice to, to look at it uh, from, you know, all kinds of uh, shots from all around the city. It's always going to be visible. It's uh, positioned very high and it's also the tallest building in the city. So it's always going to be visible. It's probably going to become the new landmark of the city, right? So uh, that's not the only building that we're going to place today. Like I said, we are doing all of these, uh, all of these building blocks all around the place. We need to just fill this place with all kinds of buildings. Uh, the place that I'm trying to finish today is very large, actually. For example, if you compare it to the, to the waterfront area, this uh, just, you know, the area itself, the number is uh, a lot higher for today's episode. We are finishing a huge chunk of the downtown. And uh, after today's episode, I think that we are going to be done with building uh, the Renaissance buildings and Baroque buildings and all those like really old buildings, the oldest buildings in the city. And after that, we are probably just going to concentrate on something recently constructed. Uh, we are just going to finish some blocks uh, towards the downtown. But after that, we are going to consider that uh, we are I'm going to consider building some uh, more recent architecture. Right. So this is pretty much the last episode we are where we are doing these uh, historical things and using all these old roads and just old detailing and stuff like that, okay? So I decided to do a different approach for today's episode and just detailing detailing these uh, blocks uh, as I finish placing the buildings in those blocks. So uh, unlike uh, normally where I just position buildings first everywhere and then do the detailing, we are going to just uh, completely finish it even with the trees and benches and everything, even the paths, connections through the stairs and all that through these places, right? Now, uh, this is something that I really like doing in city skylines in general, not just Altengrad, but it's this uh, it's this different levels, right? Doing the stairs, uh, connecting different uh, levels of the streets and all that. And that's exactly what this block is all about. We have that uh, original road that I said that connected the square with the bridge. And uh, on top of the screen right now, we have the road that goes towards the castle on top of the hill or towards the church. So these two roads are obviously different uh, height wise. The, the one that goes to the hill, obviously is steeper. So it goes, you know, it goes higher. So uh, these two streets, I decided to just connect using all kinds of connections between these buildings, doing these uh, slightly narrow or maybe even wider in some cases, alleys with, uh, with uh, stairs and different kinds of surfaces, different kind of detailing and all that. And I think it, it turned out uh, looking really great. I'm not sure how many alleys I even built here. It was, uh, it was, uh, you know, a couple of them. And uh, it's it's very nice to do these connections through the city blocks. It's just going to make it more interesting than uh, simply placing a row of buildings uh, everywhere in these blocks. This is definitely something that's going to make it more alive, right? Together with all the detailing, of course, and uh, just any kind of small, small details, like, for example, these little corners with some benches, maybe, and uh, yeah, benches like that, and some trees and all that. Also, I need to detail all these backyards, but uh, I'm not really focusing on that too much because it's not really that important to the overall feel of the area. So I'm just basically uh, these uh, inner courtyards or backyards, whatever you call them. I'm just putting some trees in there, and leaving it, uh, leaving it there. Maybe a couple of benches here and there, but that's it. I'm also trying to make the surfaces a bit more interesting by placing all kinds of stains in there, uh, just to just to have the surfaces a bit varied in some places because uh, we all but we we only have this one texture for. Uh, for the cobblestone. Well, we do have that brownish texture for cobblestone on the road itself, but for this this painted cobblestone, it's, uh, it's just the one. So making it a bit more interesting with uh, some of the decals, like I said, stains or something like that is definitely is definitely worth it, right? So these are the last stairs that I'm doing in this block and I'm also connecting it. As you can see, the stairs are leading to this uh, connection. There's not really a road there, but it's just a it's just a street where well, or alley maybe let's call it that uh, is just going that's just connecting the street that goes towards the hill and the street that leads 
also towards the hill, but from the square, right? It's just a, it's just a very short alley right here connected with the stairs uh, down towards those other roads, right? I'm later going to put all kinds of connections, uh, pedestrian paths, functional pedestrian paths through these places. And there's going to be a lot of people walking through these places, which is really nice. That's super satisfying all the time. Uh, every time you create these connections, then you know that uh, it it's needed, right? Because if you do some connections in the city and people start using it right away, then you obviously know that it was uh, it was necessary to put it there because people are finding it uh, to be very convenient to just use it. And like I said before, ju just doing these uh, these decals and some decorations, like for example these columns. I'm I'm probably I was thinking uh, I was thinking about these columns uh, in regards to the changes in time because these columns are obviously going to disappear as we progress uh, further but they are everywhere in the city and i will have to replace them with uh, something something more modern as we as we obviously need it so i was thinking that i could actually do these changes maybe on the live streams or something like that uh, we were talking about uh, similar stuff uh, yesterday on the Aurelia live stream where people suggested that I might for example do some like lighting uh, reworks in the Aurelia city on the live stream because it's not really all that super interesting for a video or something like that so maybe some of the detailed changes for the changes in time periods in Altengrad I might also do as a part of the live streams and since I already started talking about the live streams I I just uh, want to say that uh, we did the live stream yesterday from Aurelia like I said it was very nice it was very nice and I decided that I think I'm going to try to keep like a regular schedule so from now on every Wednesday or hopefully every Wednesday we are going to do a, a live stream on my Twitch channel, right? There's a there's a link in the video description for it. I think that next week we could probably open up Altengrad and uh, do a very interesting project that I already planned ahead for the Altengrad city. So we are probably going to start it on the live stream completely from scratch. It's obviously going to be recorded and edited into the video, but uh, you know, if you want to just uh, see it before the video and just maybe offer some offer some advice or just just see how it's made then uh, you're definitely welcome to join us with the live stream right so like i said next wednesday and probably every wednesday after that as well we are going to do some streams i don't think i'm going to be just doing like aurelia altengrad aurelia altengrad i'll probably just pick a city to do on the live stream as uh, as i see it you know if i need some uh, something done in some cities then i'll probably just uh, play it without uh, without really thinking too much about it, all right? So that was just a quick note about uh, the streams. Now let's more let's talk more about what's happening in the time lapse. Uh, more stairs, <laughs> more stairs. Uh, this time it's uh, it's a stair that's uh, not exactly all that super needed. It's just going to fill this place nicely and uh, even going to be used by a lot of people, like I said before. And uh, it's just going to it's just going to look nice. That's all. So this these are the stairs. The one that I put uh, these walls on both of them, on both sides of them, it's uh, is the stairs leading towards the uh, the church, right? Uh, people can obviously just use the road to go to the church, but they can also use these stairs, uh, especially if they are walking from that little side street where I also placed the very short uh, couple of stairs, right? And I'm just putting all these walls around it, uh, basically as fences. Uh, to just, uh, you know, for these buildings, for the backyards of these buildings and to mark the edges of, uh, of the pavement uh, next, to, next to the church area. The church is going to have a slightly, slightly more open area around it. So it's just going to be like a, a plaza, let's say, with uh, just cobblestone and lots of benches, lots of green. This side of the castle hill is going to be a bit more green then the opposite side of it, which is pretty much all covered in cobblestone. The opposite side that we built in episode one is like the the more official part of, uh, of the castle hill. It's where the presidential palace is and all those very important buildings. But this opposite side these days is less frequent, let's call it. And it's a bit more chill place of the Castle Hill itself. There's going to be the, this like a viewing area where people can just uh, walk around these fences around the edges of the hill and just, uh, you know, overwatch the entire, well, not the, the entire, but uh, the portion of the city below 
the hill. Later, when the city is going to be finished, uh, you know, towards uh, this this hill, like even the outside of the city, I mean, there's gonna be like really, really nice view from the top of the hill, you know, down into the city. Right now, it's somewhat great as well, but uh, there's all the empty places that you can see from the hill right now, so it's not looking all that great. But definitely expect some nice cinematic shots from the Castle Hill, just, uh, you know, overlooking the city, when the city finally uh, grows to be to be quite large, all right? So that's just a lot of detailing right now for the Castle Hill. I decided to put these palaces in here as well, because originally I had, I had planned for this area like some kind of an embassy quarter, but 1920s, I was not exactly sure of that, you know, but those palaces would already be there, of course, because even today, in the old uh, parts of Prague, for example, you have very nice looking palace buildings that are serving as embassies for all kinds of countries uh, in, the, in, the, in the world, obviously. So uh, these buildings, these, uh, these very nice palaces, they might be some ministry buildings these days. They might even remain ministry buildings, whatever, or just some embassies later, galleries, you know, whatever. It's kind of a shame that I don't have that many embassies, or sorry, that many palace buildings. I even use that that uh, palace, I'm not sure if it's a palace, the, the white-ish one that's made by Armesto is not exactly like a central European building. Well, it's not European building, a central European big building at all, but uh, it looks all right. It fits the style pretty much, so it's fine. But unfortunately, those other two buildings I had to recycle from different parts of the city already because I just don't have that many buildings. But uh, I don't think it's, uh, it's you know, against anything. It's just looking, it's just looking nice in the castle area, or the hill area. All right, guys, so that's all for today's episode of Altengrad. I'm just going to skip through building these blocks because it's just it's just a filler of buildings, really. Filling these blocks, just, uh, you know, quantity building, pretty much nothing more. So uh, that's going to be all for today's episode. Enjoy the cinematics. Aurelia is obviously scheduled for Sunday. It's going to be continued building from, uh, from the live stream. And on uh, next Wednesday, we're gonna go and build Altengrad live, all right? So thank you again, guys, for watching today's episode of Altengrad. I hope you liked it. If you did, then you can always put a thumbs up underneath the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, share the video with your friends. And if you want to directly support the channel, you can become a channel member by clicking the join button below. Enjoy the cinematics, take care, and goodbye.